communities and strengthens local economies, and that money goes straight to the farmers, um, which they need and they create our healthy food. So an excellent thing to support. And number one, it just tastes better. It really does, doesn't it? It just tastes better. I mean, you know, as a global landscape designer, picking it, even picking it right from um, your backyard. Well, sugars rapidly turn into starch, and it, the clock starts at the minute you are brewed or cut, mm. harvest in general of vegetables. So the sooner you get to it, the sweeter it is. Yum. The more light forces and it, enzymes start to die off immediately. So actually growing your own is the best way to go. So people can follow you at My Edible Gardens, and they can find tips for growing your own. And you started yeah, a new we Twitter started chat. On you? Tuesday, we're going to be starting a new Twitter chat. It's yep. Grow Your Own. Yep. And it'll be where we can learn is really great. You know, it's like to just be able to, uh, on a Twitter chat, I've been reading the feeds afterwards. What, what is it, homegrown? Grow your own. Grow your own. So it's hashtag grow your own yes. is how you find that Twitter chat. So if you're on Twitter and you're in the search, you hashtag grow your own and you'll get to feed, which is, you know, great tips. I mean, we all need to learn this stuff. And it's just the difference between knowing it, not knowing it, whether you're going to do it. So. Yay, thanks, that's great. So much information. You can grow your own lavender really easily, all year round. So why don't you actually come up and we're gonna make a lavender apple face.